Hello ladies and gentlemen, MarauderX here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1. Uh, finishing up the fight in the castle. Uh, I'm gonna let, I'm just gonna let Symbios sit there. He's level 6, he's fine. He's fine. Mass Monk is asleep. You're gonna go over and attack Eldar for no discernible reason. Your AI is 10 kinds of borked. Um, who needs heal? Everyone needs heal a little bit. We'll heal Hayward. Not that anyone really needs it, because we are <laughs> we are done with this fight. But it's good for friendship bonuses. And we're gonna stand there and get some really fun friendship bonuses. And a power attack! And... What's Horst and Obrights? 51... 35... Okay, we can kill him without it leveling him up. I don't want to get Horst and Obright too far apart level-wise, because they are... They're so close in their stats to where they, they really do complement each other really well. And... For shits and giggles, we're going to electrify the sleeping monk. And there it goes. And Maskrin's level 6. Alright, so we've defeated... Fial's forces received the, received the ship's key. Unfortunately, we were not in time to keep him from poisoning and killing Lord Conrad, who is was already sick, and now he is worse. And Suspicion believes that Fial was the one who caused Lord Conrad's illness in the first place, that prevented him from going to the Peace Summit, because he would have been... He was perceived as more of a thorn in their sides than Symbios, and little did they realize the uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Decision they are going to regret immensely. Go to look over. They're even going to try to take him to a, a doctor of some sort, but... Sadly, there's really nothing that can be done. This is one of those... Even the fact that you have healing and antidote magic, there's really not anything that can be done to prevent death. And Zero arrives just in time to see Conrad pass. Zero, who was one of Lord Conrad's more loyal troops. And Sinbios pretty much losing his shit completely. Grace trying curative magic. Should have tried that a minute ago, but even then.
everyone taking Lord Conrad's death very, very hard. Symbios and his compatriots were returned to the Republic, where they were graded by both citizens and high officials. Happy to see that they were safe, but not all, however, welcomed them as they received some frigid stares. The financial crisis of the Republic caused internal turmoil in Barand. This severed the strong sense of unity among the Republic regions, as some lords resorted to radical activities. General Fafard, whom they reluctantly fought against because of a misunderstanding, was defeated. With Symbios losing his father, Conrad, he now stands alone with everything resting on his shoulders. End of Chapter 4. Revolt in the Republic of Espinia. So now, Symbios truly is the last hope of the Republic. He is one of the few remaining generals. Loyal to King Benetrim and capable of fighting. There has been a great number of uh, generals lost in the Republic. At this point, um, it really is a miracle the Republic is still standing. We move on to Chapter 5, Tower Ruins of Lookout. Yes, now would be a perfect time to stick around with Symbios. Symbios working to at least form connections for lasting peace between the Empire and the Republic. Really, Symbi now that Symbios is in a greater position of power, Benetrim has always been really keen on getting uh, a at least a ceasefire between the Empire and the Republic. Median, Median sadly doesn't have the authority within the the Empire, but as a prince, he does have a, a voice within the, the nobles. In theory, if we had had the Elbasim Orb, we could have used that on Fial to have weakened him, but whether or not that would have spared uh, Lord Conrad's life is is up in the air. And Zero departs to rejoin the Median Army. Really, with all of the generals that have died, it's not a surprise that Lord Conrad was one of them. There have been so many generals in the Republic that have defected and or just outright been defeated. Should we be chasing after him? Yes, we should. You need to go to look out. That was Conrad's final wish. And the cut flower makes an appearance. I love how they're whispering like Symbios can't hear them. Or that Symbios doesn't know exactly what they're talking about.
He is. At this point, Symbios... Symbios is pissed. And he's formulated a plan of... Kill. It is one of those situations where you do kind of wonder what Symbios says. Because while we are in control of Symbios in this game, we do hear some of the dot 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 from other characters when Symbios and Median and Julian end up interacting. So you do kind of wonder what Symbios himself would say. What, in this instance, it's meant to say, what would you say in this situation? But it is apparent that Symbios, Median, and Julian all have their own distinct personalities. Yes, now we're going to go... You can inspect it, but that that is where... I think you can place the cut flower there. I thought you could. I'll check before I leave. I thought you had to place it there. Alright. Try one more time to place it there. Alright. I thought you had to have it for... for that, but I apparently was wrong. Alright, so there is a lot of items here in the castle that we want to get. It's not a lot, but it it's several that we want. Several that we want greatly. Now we see people wandering about. Alright. Something's there! Dot dot dot. Or there seemed to be. Maybe not. Oh, that was useless, Symbios. Thank you for that. This is one thing we want. The Phoenix Sword. Don Terry's. Yes. The Phoenix Sword is fantastic. Um. See. Equip it and show the difference. Um, 56 to 70 versus the Bastard Sword. Plus, it raises his fire resistance, his fire element. And gives him the Phoenix Summon. Uh, which summon spells in this game are bloody fantastic. They are just like the summon spells in Shining Force 2, in which they will do a set amount of damage, and then split that damage amongst uh, area, uh, members in the area of effect. So if you attack one person, it does a great deal of damage. If you attack two, it does half that to both of them. If you attack three, and so forth and so on. Lady Margaret is Symbios' sister. So, word has been sent to Sis that Dad's dead. We are now Lord of Flaggard. Which, actually... Uh, in theory, puts us in line for being king at one point.
Yes, make them pay, loyal Republic soldier. Notice how everyone is... Pledging loyalty to Symbios, no matter what. Um, thought there was something in there, but apparently not. Cabinet's locked. Who are you? How could he be? Because he was loved by everyone and he was a ridiculous uh, soldier and tactician. That's really it. That's why he was targeted. Alright, so now we can wander around. I still don't remember how to get in there. There's going to be a lot of things I'm going to have to look at. So this, this episode may be cut short while I check around, because I don't remember how to get into that house. And there's stuff in that house that I want to get. Yeah, what would happen to Flagard if Symbios left at this point? I want to go into your house. Let me in. I can't get up there. It won't let me walk. Alright, uh, maybe I can go in through here? I was thinking that it would let me go out that door, but... I know there's stuff in here, too. Door's not opening. Step out here. I know there's something there. I know I just don't remember what it is, and it's pissing me off at this point. Who are you? Alright, there's a downstairs? Alright, there's got to be something down here, honestly. Alright, you know, screw this. I'm going to go buy items, and I'm going to look at the map and see where all these items are that I need to go deal with that are still left in town. And figure out how to get them. So, we'll buy items, because there is an item. You see the Republic flags that they've added. Uh, where is the weapon item shop? It's not here, is it? Probably over here. Because those look like shops, but I can't go in there. Can I go in there? Are you a shop? No. You're a house. So I don't want to deal with you yet. Sucks that I can't remember the layout of Flagard. Or remember, like... It would help if I understood Japanese. There's an item. Potion! Hey, everyone likes potions. Alright. That's a house, that's a house. That's the church. That's a house, isn't it? 
Because we could go into that one before. This is the inn. Which seems oddly deserted at the moment. Are you a shop? Or are you just a house? There's gotta be a weapon shop in Flagard. Pretty sure there's a weapon shop in Flagard. Otherwise, I'm gonna be kinda pissed that I'm spending all this time doing nothing. You're an accessory shop. Would you let us buy iron circlets now? Iron circlets raise defense for female characters. But... I've already got them. So I don't need anything. Do you have any deals? Uh, nothing useful. I might buy... White Ring. Um, I'm not gonna buy it right now. What does it do? No. Raises defense. I think I have a White Ring, don't I? Yeah, I've got a white ring. Oh, that's the, the 20 defense. Doesn't it? Yeah, that's... I might buy another one of those. Those are useful. Alright, so there's an accessory shop. Where is the weapon and armor shop? I think we've already determined that's just a house. Isn't it? An empty house. See, the empty houses with all the furniture strewn about like this, it just reminds me of Fallout. Like, how do I get into that? Oh, there's a walkway there. Pretty sneaky. Alright. This... This is something we're not even going to begin to to mess with right now. Now that we're promoted, we can go ahead and buy... Uh, we can have the mithril crafted for us. So, I might actually do that. That might be what's here instead of a weapon and armor shop. Honestly. I'm going to see what they have, and then I'm going to see how much money I've got, and who I can go ahead and make items for. Because... I don't want to make an item for Symbios, because quite frankly, he's going to out... It's going to outlive its usefulness. Because Symbios, being a hero, is going to get massively powerful weapons in the game. That are going to be unique to him. So I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, Don Terry's might get a Mithril weapon. Um... Actually, most of my people might get Mithril weapons. Uh, Don Terry's, Maskern won't, Grace won't, Hayward, Hayward probably will, Obright probably will. All of my melee people will probably get, except for Eldar, I gotta look and see what her wings are. She can get a wing that is unique. Um... Horse doesn't need one at the moment. So yeah, I might do that. I'm going to go ahead and save it, because this has been a ridiculously boring episode. And uh, pick up in the next bit, in which I, I'm going to do some research and see what is worthwhile as far as making items now. There are two blacksmiths in the game, so if you don't do it now, it's not that you can't do it later on. So I'll go ahead and save it here, and in this episode, and I will see you guys in the next installment. Until then, later everyone.